In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for ZnCl2 plus Na3PO4, zinc chloride plus sodium phosphate. So the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. Probably best to balance the phosphates first. I have two phosphates here and just one here. If I do that, put a two, that balances the phosphates. 2 times 3, 6 sodium, so I need to put a 6 in front of the sodium chloride, balances the sodium atoms, 6 chlorides, so I'll need a 3 here, and we have 3 zincs here, 3 here. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. Chlorides are very soluble. If you know your solubility rules, we'll put AQ for aqueous, that'll dissolve in water. Compounds with sodium are also very soluble, even though in general phosphates aren't. So the sodium phosphate, because we have sodium, that's going to be soluble. But we get to our zinc phosphate. Zinc is not in group one. Zinc's a transition metal. This is going to be insoluble. That means it won't dissolve and it'll be a solid. These two substances here will react, form a solid. It falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So the zinc phosphate, that's the precipitate here. Then chlorides and sodium compounds, very soluble. So AQ for aqueous. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. Zinc will be 2 plus, and the chloride ion is 1 minus, each one of these. So I have 3 of these zinc ions, and then I have 3 times 2, so I have 6 chloride ions. Sodium group 1, that's 1 plus. The whole phosphate is 3 minus. 2 times 3 is 6, so I have 6 sodium ions, and then I'll have 2 phosphate ions. These are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, when we have a solid like this zinc phosphate, which is our precipitate, we don't split those apart. So we're just going to keep that together. And then sodium's positive, chloride is negative. So we'll have our six sodium ions, and then we'll have six chloride ions as well. So this is our complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. I can see I have six chloride ions here in the reactants, and then in the products, I have six chloride ions. I'm going to cross those out. Here I have six sodium ions, and again, in the products, six sodium ions. That's a spectator ion. Cross it out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for zinc chloride plus sodium phosphate. I'll clean this up and write the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for ZnCl2 plus Na3PO4. The atoms, they're balanced if you count them up, and the charge is balanced too. 3 times 2 plus, that's 6 plus. 2 times 3 minus is 6 minus. So the net charge in the reactants is 0. This is a neutral compound. Net charge is 0. This is Dr. V, and thanks for watching.